Morning everyone, just waiting for the vehicle to warm up here before we head to the scrapyard. Um, <coughs> excuse me, a bit fresh this morning, a bit cold. Um, we do have to go and have a look at the washing machine before we head out. So, got about mm, probably half a day off to go and do this. So, um, we've only got pressing steel, that's what they'll class all this as. I've loaded up what we had, what we I could fit on without trying to go overboard and that sort of thing anyway. So we've got a half an IBC put in the back full of computer cases and God knows what. Uh, there's a couple more computer cases in that one and a lot of the other steel in there. Um, in the washing machine cases we've got a bit of, um, we've got, um, I'm trying to think what they were, the dishwasher bloody shells and stuff like that from the insides of them. Um, and we've also got the racks and stuff in the other one up here so yeah fair variety of steel and god knows what It'd be very interesting to know how much is actually there in weight because the old tire on the trail is a bit low so we might have to do a tire pressure check as well on the way through the, with a the servo so we'll just wait for this vehicle to warm up a bit more come around this side it's the old smoky side a bit cold that tire don't look too bad, doing a run around here. Yeah, no, that's not too bad. I don't think we're overweight too much. But anyway, we'll start out. Should be warm enough now. We'll get to the scrapyard. see how much we weigh i reckon if you want to put a comment below but this is my thoughts i reckon we're about two two and a half ton gee she's been boggy here damn go right around like everyone's supposed to now geez that's been boggy damn mm, we gotta wait don't know this fella He's a newbie. Mmm. Yum yum. About time this fella moved. Went out and had me lunch and all. See if we're about two and a half ton. We won't know until we unload. Go and have a look at the scales. Oh, bad! Pardon me. Well, oh, yeah. Very busy in here. Come on, mate. Four point six six. Hmm. Still a little bit heavy, but that's with the vehicle, you know, 4.66. He's over there unloading, we can do that. Get over in this slush hole. Might be best to unhook. Oh, jackknife, do something. I'll have a look, see what I can do. Well, this is pretty firm right here. Yeah, I think the best thing to do is unhook, undo it. goes on to that.
should have grabbed two instead of wasting me time. Oh my. I was going to jackknife it so he could squeeze it all off. <laughs> but I thought, no, I'll stay stationary. Once he gets the IBC, hopefully you can just push it. You, got it. you, won't, push, you won't push them. <laughs> they're, pretty, nah, nah, like, they're pretty heavy. If he puts his time here. Oh, yeah, yeah, he can push it across, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's done it many times. He knows how I bring the shit in. <laughs> I always bring it in this stuff. Makes it easier. That was a lot of work. I think that uh, all these computer cases only took me about an hour and a half to do. There's a fair few there. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, God knows, probably 20, 30 there. It's a fair few. So anyway, we're just going to sit back and wait. That's all we need to do. Sit back and wait. I'm not cutting my fingers on those. That's how I done my finger. I slipped actually on like this finger here. When I, that happened, I actually cut these out and it was the tops out of these that I cut my finger on. So. He should be able to get that one there. She's slippery. Keep coming, bro. Look up. You're good. Squeeze. All good. Too much protection. That's half their problem. I don't worry about doing all these plug-ins either, I just chop it off as close as I can. No, there is brass there, but I don't worry about a lot of them. Oh man. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Yeah, that's the wrong way. <laughs> oh. No! I want the bloody thing back. 
<laughs> what want the drums back for? Then he's only got this heavy beast. Oh, this one's got some weight in it. Where are we stuck on, on that bolt? That is heavy. Didn't realise how heavy that was. Sweet, that's off. That's pretty good where that is. Doesn't need to be any further. That one's a bit too far that way anyway, so it doesn't matter. Right, that's that. Then he's only got two on the back. We're out of here then. Pretty good. No, best to be organised. Be a lot lighter going out of here. You bobbed! <laughs> he bobbed! <laughs> What's he done with the forklift? Hmm. Fuck up! <laughs> Put that down! <laughs> Lower gravity, see? Works! <laughs> <laughs> you got one soft patch there. Mate. Down, you got one soft patch there. Yeah. yeah, you got it there. Keep going then. Lift up. A clean tray today, sweet. Oh, better watch my back. <laughs> Pull this out a bit, shouldn't be that heavy. Get it started for him. They shouldn't fall out. I tried to make it so wouldn't fall out, I loaded it on myself. With the front end loader and the fork on the front. And Not much you can do! That happens! You're gonna make sure it's broke. <laughs> I'll just take that one home and fix it. What's he doing, man? There's nothing else left in the bloody thing. You're gonna lose the whole thing now. <laughs> Not much you can do about it. Leave it there. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get these first. Get yeah, get these first. I'll have a look. <laughs> Damn. I reckon this one over the back here, I like it with the tops on it. 
This one here looks good. Oh, we already got some steel in there too. This one looks good. Yeah, we may not be able to fix that up though. Yeah. They're a bit bunged up. Oh, that's got chemical in it. Hmm. That one's a bit out of shape. Oh, this one up here looks good. This one looks better. Yeah, we'll grab this one. Boy, that bell. We don't want that. This one looks like the good one. Yeah, he's a good one. He's a good one. That's the best one I've ever lot. We'll grab that one. See me broke the other one. They do hang on to them for me. Which is a bonus in a way. Saves me have to pay for the mighty things. I go on Facebook Marketplace and they're bloody 40 bucks. I'd rather get them for free. To go, I'm gonna scrap anyway. Should be able to drag that out. Go in. Keep going, you got a foot. Should get it out. Keep going. Two inches, four inches, whatever you say. There you go. It's all yours. I'll get this up here. I should be able to get it up myself. Uh, Give it a swing on my. Stable. Do away with the gloves. Done with those. Got ourselves a new one. Put this back up the top. What a day. What a day. And don't bring it that one. That one's been welded, that one. Or is it? No, this one was welded. Being lazy today, I am. Only because I've got to get back to work. Pull that right through to it there. I should roll it up, but I'm not. Let's 
That one. Right. I've only got that to go, eh? Hey? There. Might better get rid of that. I think they've got a full bin up there. Meet you back around there. Hey, what? You made life a lot easier, haven't you? I got it, mate. It's the first time you came over here, because man, that was. Tough. You've got it, yeah. Well, you've got to be make it easier for you guys, not for me. Oh. I wish everybody thought like you. Well, you're the ones that are going to sort the crap out. The old Land Rover, that thing. You an old beast, that. Good one to restore. All right, go and see how much we weigh. Okay, okie dokie. I think we're about 2.7 unloaded. 2.7. Well, we come home with a decent payday. I overestimated on the weight on how much there was. We only took over 1.78 kilos. Or a bit over a mm, tonne and three quarters, nearly two tonne. So that wasn't too bad. I did say about two tonne, two and a half tonne. I was way over that. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so we did come home with... Uh, total of $439.66 I'll put a screenshot up of the receipt that I've got in my hand um, they did actually print this one out not like last time when we went over and had the black car and June's operation all that sort of thing what's next on the agenda for this week oh we've got some dumpster diving coming up a good one coming up a lot of heavy stuff uh, that'll be coming out this week um, then we've also got a follow up coming up of that load so yes pretty interesting but anyway um it'd be nice if i can do a scrap run probably every four maybe five weeks all depends on how much i can actually get we're still getting washing machines in i just picked up a couple of days ago um a 12 kilo wash machine and dry it's a combo thing debating about making a video if you want me to make a video on that one um, it does have broken bearings and probably needs a new seal but if you want me to make a video on that one drop a comment below and I'll do a video and we'll get it all sorted out for you all so that way we can get parts ordered and all that sort of thing and hopefully that way I can do a part one one day and then a part two the following day of me putting it all together so I'm trying to plan it so that that way um, that you've got the following straight one after another. But anyway, we are still waiting on more parts from another one that I've done. Yeah, it's just waiting on parts, waiting forever. I ordered it through AliExpress and uh, got to wait a long time, nearly six weeks. So let's hope those parts come through pretty quick. Um, we've got a few more parts coming through for some other washing machines that I didn't actually do a video for. I thought I'd just get them done and get them, get them out of the road. So, but anyway, not bad. What did I say it was? $439.66. We did get charged a waste levy on, on pressing steel. We always do. Uh, I'm not going to be taking any other other than pressing steel over. Like, I'm, what I'm trying to explain is if I go over just with pressing steel, I'm not taking any of my non-ferrous stuff because 
what they're actually doing. I noticed on our previous dockets that they're actually taking the waste levy off the whole price. I don't think that's fair. So I've worked it out that I'm just going to take pressing steel over and if I take over non-ferrous it'll be just non-ferrous. Like I've got already got full IBC pod of Oh, what would you call them as? Mm, what are they called? Incise, that's what the name of it is. It's all is incise. So that could be a probably estimation of over a ton there. I don't know what they weigh, but that's my estimation. Um, yeah, so before the uh, waste levy comes out, that's $507.30. Um, but like I said, I'll put a screenshot up of that anyway. So if you've come this far in the video, everyone, don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when we put a new video out. So till next time everyone, happy dumpster diving, happy scrapping, and I hope you like the repairing too. So till next time, cheerio.